Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon and welcome to another episode of The Flash. <clears throat> My voice is a bit scratchy at the moment for some reason, I'm having the sniffles. Um, but we'll move on. Uh, last week's episode, disappointing I would say. Uh, another episode where it felt like they were trying to... Um... Thank you for that. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Simon here with another episode of The Flash. Apologies if my voice sounds a little bit scratchy or a little bit different. I'm having the sniffles right now. Uh, moving on from last week's episode, which was titled Null and Annoyed, which uh, was very apt. I was slightly annoyed by the episode. It seemed to be another disappointing episode where they just seemed to, uh, I don't know, sacrifice some of the logic of the show just for sheer forced character progression um there were a few good questions asked though at the very end where harry went to activate gideon and was acting very suspiciously very villainous um i am very interested to see what is going to happen next here um but i'm hoping the episode starts to pick up as we start getting towards the end of the season I'm hoping that the action starts to pick up, the show starts to really get into the thick of the story, you know, rather than trying to focus too much on convoluted character development and, you know, story relationships that are never really going to fly. Now, this week's uh, question comes from Prince Jabbo, and Prince Jabbo asks, Q&A, what do you think would happen with Ralph at the end of the season? Clearly, DeVoe needs him because he's a bus meta. That is correct. Um... I know what I would like to happen to Ralph. Um, any situation whereby Ralph does not appear in Season 5 is my preferred outcome. And I think that's probably the most likely thing. I, I think that, in the end, it's probably all going to work out. They'll find some way to defeat DeVoe. And I think Ralph will probably say his goodbye, go on his own path and say, you guys helped me become a better person and now I'm going to go help out another place because I have powers and I can help people. Um, and it's probably going to be in response to what I imagine is a fairly poor character reception. The show writers realized, okay, people probably didn't take to Ralph like we were hoping, so let's clear him out, and maybe they'll bring him back for a couple of special appearances in the future. So yeah, I think Ralph's on the chopping board, but I think they're going to do it in a way that doesn't see him dead. Uh, which, again, I'm open to any avenue as long as he's not here next season. So thank you for the question. If you guys want a question featured, ask it in the comments below. If you don't want to ask a question, go and have a look for your favourite question, upvote it, and I will answer the next episode, the most popular question. So, why don't we jump into this episode and see what happens. Okay, look. I've taught you a lot about being a hero, right? You ready for, it's probably the most important lesson. We never have to kill. Yes, you do. For people with our abilities, there's just always another way. No, there isn't. You understand? There... Zoom. Uh, you complete me. Bring it in. Come on. Technically, Come on. Come on. reverse Come on. flash. Come on. Yeah. He, he didn't die, he just never existed, and then he did exist. But yeah, that's bullshit. Heroes, they have to kill at times. Have a seat. Oh, wow. Scumbag uh, move. Thanks. Namaste, hermano. I'm gonna stay in the back of the bus. <laughs> Funny fat dude. Is he still there? It's crazy. His residual dark matter reads as if he was here one second and the next vanished. I think he's still there. I think he's invisible Sorry. and can't move. He wants us back at Star Labs, so he has something important to show everyone. Well, not so do we. It's the only power that yeah. DeVoe cool. doesn't really have that I can think of. Okay, that's effective. I know how that feels. One strike incapacitates a thinker. Two strikes, no more thinker. I yes, call I call it Sonic Scepter. Sonic Scepter, okay. I like it. Points for alliteration. Basically, just a big tuning fork. My goodness. Well, I mean, it's not just any tuning fork. This might be the most powerful tuning fork in the multiverse. You must have laser shaved this thing down to the nano. Shaved it right down to the last angstrom, as a matter of fact. Child's play for me and my thinking cap. The sonic scepter. Mimics I don't like the thinking cap. So we can penetrate a heretofore impenetrable force field of DeVoe. Okay, stay ready. Is it gonna be him? No. Okay, so this guy can open dimensions. 
Edwin Gauss? <laughs> Okay. He he's living in a pocket universe. Is that it? All right, guys, say hello to our last known bus meta. You make omelets with that cat. Yeah, yeah. Pretty darn good omelet. I bet. Hey, take it off him, please, Joe. Take it off him. If I borrow the cat. No, I don't think so. Not a good idea. Why not? Seems pretty easy to use. Detective, this easy to use thing is actually a delicate scientific instrument that directly alters the brainwave of the user. So I don't think so. So it's dangerous. Yeah, it's very dangerous. And yet you risk using it to make breakfast. Yep. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Okay, you're good, detective. You're very good. I don't mean to be paranoid. I'm... Sometimes it's just hard to turn off the cop brain. Ah, I get it. No worries. Follow the lead, Joe. Follow the good lead. Good finding Gauss. Joe's going to be watching. Yeah. Good on you, Joe. But now my two favorite characters are being pitted All against right. each other. We're mostly he's around here. Time for the reflection hike, everyone. They've got Don't a crystal maze. Your spirit animals. <clears throat> Literally already smells better. Okay, let's just search for Gauss. Just stay in touch over the comms. Yeah, I will leash my inner penguin spirit animal and head south. Your inner animal is Killer Frost. Don't touch anybody. Except kill DeVoe. Why? Self -defense? It's not self-defense if you're already thinking it. It is. It. Look. I... He's trying to kill you, I've you kill him. Throat. I know you're scared. I understand the temptation. But you have to hear me when I say there's always another way. There isn't. That attitude got your dad killed. Oh, no, right, rookie. That's gonna get your friends killed. Oh shit! Okay. The samurai. You can't stop me, Mr. Dibney. I will cut you all of Team Flash to get what I want. But doesn't that thing work without a head? I'm gonna go help Cisco with that pocket dimension predictor. If they make this entire last part of the season about why they oh. shouldn't kill Devo, that's gonna yeah. suck All hard. Consider. We got pretty lucky. Yeah. Lucky? Are yeah. Are you too serious? Am I the only one who's paying any attention here? Ralph, the mission was successful. Caitlin's okay, and Edwin agreed to stay in the pipeline. Edwin will be safe in there. Safe? Because DeVoe's never successfully attacked Metas in a maximum security facility before. Oh, wait, he did exactly that. Watch it, Ralph. I have been. I don't watching. like this. I'm agreeing with Ralph. Watching DeVoe ahead of us at every turn, watching Caitlin get skewered, watching the Metas drop like flies one by one because we can't save them. Yep. And you wonder why he's always ahead of us. I don't like this. I'm agreeing with Ralph. Doesn't mean I like him, but it means I agree with him. Don't confuse me like this. Where is it? Oh, it, he took the, the cap. It's right behind you. Please and thank you. Can't buy my thinking cap. I, hey, I don't have it, Captain Caveman. I never said you did. So why would you volunteer that information unless you do have it? Get out. I know what this is about. You never wanted me to build the sucker in the first place. Because you never wanted me to be smarter than you. Well, guess what? That's funny because I already am. What the hell are you talking about? I want you to... Oh shit. Give me that cap. Give it to me. It's mine. It's my cat. Cut it out. It's, it's mine. mine. My own. You didn't take it. My precious. I didn't take it. All I will ask is that you take a long, hard look. But he's going to use it. To you you can stop him. Destroy it. Stomp on it. He's totally going to go put that on. I'm in. I don't even need to ask Killer Frost how she votes. We're in two. So it's settled. We're in, but we're not going to do F and it would take to, to like, you know, make sure he gets taken out. Also, how do they get okay. that back? You got it, Mega Fast Dude. Well, are they not taking Ralph with them at least? 
It's gonna be his wife. It's a hologram. It didn't work. Why would it? Sound has no effect on a hologram. Yep. I think DeVoe is already that guy. I don't know. The real battle begins. Nope, I was wrong, but Okay, no one's manning the the the, the Star Labs. Where did Edwin go? He's back locked in a cell and we've got Devo's pocket dimension energy coming from the cortex. Why would you go and lock him back up? We can use it to get our team back. First we gotta get ourselves out of here. And leave him alone. Triangle is too complex. If I had my quantum decryption keys, I could do it, but they're stuck in Cisco's workshop. I don't think it's gonna work. Whoa. Yes! Fight with a sword, Joe. I wanna see that. No, no, no. This is bad. More. Warning. Safe zone parameters will be exceeded. Recommend its maximum capacity now. And that's how you either die or become evil. Ugh. Really bad green screen. Oh shit. He's got all of the metas. And I thought he was gonna take them to his dimension again. Big old fork to shove up your Second, second time, second time. You're dead. Do it. I have been waiting for this. Stop talking and do it, you fool. Alone, so I can make the hard choice that no one else will. Oh, my God, this is so awful. Ugh. Such fake tension and horrendous build up. Uh Where is he? She got stabbed straight through the heart. How are you okay? Actually now it's just devote. I'd have rather seen that fight than the one we just saw. Okay, we just need to get to How is she okay? She got stabbed in the chest. And I see you went with the same plan. I'm thinking that this is not gonna work. Do you remember when I visited you in prison? You said that I could have a greater life if I just rise up. Well, I'm ready for that life. And for the first time, <sighs> playing right I into DeVoe's hands. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, Ralph. You won't be missed. Miss Betty never understood the full magnitude of her powers. You're currently the same gravimetric weight as a cement truck, Mr. Allen. That should hold you long enough to bear witness. Ralph! Just fight it, all right? Fight it! I love this. It's delicious irony. I hope Ralph dies and that's on You're Barry's conscience. Barry. I like that because that sticks it to Barry in the best way possible. Thank you, Mr. Allen. You were an excellent teacher. Why well, just kill him? Just, just kill him. Put everyone out of our misery and kill him. Ugh, what is this music? Oh yeah, he can change his appearance now. Oh, I don't know what to say about that episode. That was so infuriating at times. Um, I find myself agreeing with Ralph over and over the fact that you have to... I mean, Barry is such a hypocrite. Such a hypocrite. And that's just poor writing. You know, you can't blame the character. You've just got to blame the show writers, which... I really think they need to be sacked because this show is terrible at this point. 
Um, how this got renewed for a fifth season, I will never know. Um, the execs are not watching the same show that we are, or at least that I am. Um, I mean, I had hopes for this season. I thought, well, maybe they'll become a bit more consistent. Maybe they'll learn from the mistakes. But it really just gets worse and worse. Um, there is no... The only thing I enjoyed about this episode is the fact that Barry is suffering from regret at not listening to Ralph, you know? If he'd have not convinced Ralph otherwise, then DeVoe would be dead. And, yeah, Ralph would be alive. Although I've got a horrible feeling at the end of the season, they're going to bloody have some way of bringing back all of the metas who were killed, you know? Because that's the way the show tends to go. There's never any... Um, you know, there's, there's... It's just frustrating. It's just frustrating because... You have the core elements of something that could be good. And you've got some good characters. and You know, the stuff with um, Harry, you know, with regards to his dark matter helmet. I find it really interesting, you know. I'm like, is he going to go full on evil Dr. Wells again? Or, you know, is he going to survive and, you know, break through? And then you've just got all of the crap with Ralph and Barry and Iris. And it just makes it really frustrating. And I don't even think I want to go into that episode because it was just so infuriating. But... I really don't think I'm going to be watching the fifth season of this show. I think once this season's over and done with, that's it. You know, I'll give it to the end of this season, but then I'm done with it because it's it's trash at this point. And, uh, you know, I apologise if you have a different opinion or if, you know, you enjoy the show. That's that's up to you. You know, if you enjoy it, fair enough. Um, but I don't have a strong history with comic books. I don't know a lot about the character backgrounds and I just feel like the writing is not consistent. The character's change far too much and uh you know they don't learn from their mistakes and it's just infuriating now after four seasons you know that they're still making the same basic mistakes they've made in the first season you know the show tries to put tension in place and it just doesn't work they try to put relationship drama in doesn't work you know it all feels very forced it all feels very convoluted and it's it's just not good you know so uh, anyway i'm gonna leave it there because of will end up ranting for for ages and ages um yeah thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed at least watching me suffer um i appreciate you guys may have a different opinion but that's that's the way life is you know we all enjoy different things um but thanks for watching and i'll see you for the next one